Hello my beautiful Capricorns, thanks so much for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Goretti and today I'm going to do a reading for the end of January. Sorry guys, my throat um, having some issues. So right away possibly some of you needing to do some stuff around your throat chakra. Um, I did notice I was very, very thirsty before um, doing this reading as well. So that might be something um, that somebody needs to hear, but to drink more water, <clears throat> as I'm going to do right now. So, end of January, let's see, um, what's going on. I had already pulled cards this morning, as I've been doing, uh, lately still. Um, overall energy, we have the Six of Swords. This is moving forward forward movement, um, leaving behind those five swords. So many of you are leaving behind conflict and you're taking that uh, ace of swords with you. That's truth. That's clarity. Um, and I'm also hearing a new opportunity awaits for you on the other side, a new opportunity to wherever you're headed here, but it's definitely going to be better than where you have been. Um, some of you have, um, needed to leave a lot behind um but you're definitely headed in the right direction and because the boat is moving forward um this way the boat's moving this way but notice she's got her back <clears throat> to where it's going so i don't think some of you know exactly where you're headed for others of you um because look at the sword the one sword is behind him so she hasn't grabbed that sword of clarity yet you don't have clarity quite yet for some of you for others of you this is definitely just um you know you don't see the good that is coming you're still looking back uh to the past to the difficulties um, to the, you know, choppy waters and you're not looking forward ahead. So that's overall energy. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. <clears throat> Current energy. I was fine before I started this reading. 13, death. Normally I don't read the number, so it's interesting that I did. 13 is actually a very lucky number. Um, so you might need to look that up. But death, this is endings. Um, this is a symbolic death. This is death to the ego, I'm hearing. So for many of you, you're really, I just heard slaying old negative situations that no longer serve you. You're getting rid of old negative beliefs. You're putting an end to things, um, to the negativity, the difficulties, whatever this was, person, place, thing, relationship, uh, finances, you know, your health, whatever it is. And again, don't forget, this is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate for everybody. Take what resonates, leave the rest, okay? Um, but also pay attention to the cards as I go through them, because intuitively, you might be picking up other messages that are specifically for you as well, right? Because this is general. So, and if it doesn't, you know, apply, it's not your reading, you know, there's other readings out there. But um, this is definitely you putting an end to whatever it was um, that's behind you here, because it's the overall energy, you're on your way to, you know, the good side, right? The um, things being easier. I just heard not such a heavy load. <clears throat> but there are endings here, whatever that is. The challenge or opportunity is actually the tower card. So for some of you, there is going to be a sudden change. For others of you, it's going to be drastic for some of you, yeah, it's it's going to kind of crumble uh, things down, but that's only because things were built on a faulty foundation here, okay? So the challenge for some of you is this destruction, you know, um, that you're needing to deal with, right? Um, for others of you, it's just a sudden change that is a challenge for you. It could be a good change. It doesn't have to be bad. And for others of you... Um, you know, this will be an opportunity, actually. This, you know, sudden drastic change is going to be a good thing. So when I clarified, we got the Three of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles. 
um, cards in reverse. These are both the waiting cards. So, um, but because they are reversed in the challenge position here, for me, this is saying, um, this destruction, this, this crumbling down, this tower moment, right? Happened, um, so that you're not waiting anymore. Okay. So the challenge is, you know, that you don't have to wait for things, right? Doesn't feel good when a tower moment comes in. Not always. Sometimes it's a good thing. Sometimes it's, you know, sudden drastic change in such a great way. Um, I mean, everything is, is good really because it all leads us to where we're supposed to be. But, um, you know, this is basically saying that you're not going to be waiting anymore. Okay. Um, and that, you know, you've kind of, uh, gone within this, this might force some of you to go, you know, within and do a little bit of soul searching, right? For others of you, this might kind of isolate you a little bit, but it is about your stability with the King of Pentacles here. So for some of you, there might be a drastic change in your stability, right? For others of you in your job or your finances, um, stability with a partner, maybe, Okay. <clears throat> now in the current position, I think that this tower really is positive for a lot of you because, um, in a positive way, like it's going to lead you into the direction that you're supposed to be going. It's going to lead you to better things, better places, better situations, better people, because in the, um, near future, we have the Empress card. This is saying, you know, that, um, you're going to be abundant. You're going to be creating things. Um, you know, you're going to have all four Queens embodied within yourself, you know, male or female doesn't matter. We all embody both, but this is saying that you are really going to be birthing new ideas. This is new opportunities. This is success and abundance here. And I, I know this is definitely because of the overall reading. Um, definitely this is, you know, things coming to an end, there's sudden changes. And for some of you, this drastic change could actually be about you loving and nurturing yourself. It could be about abundance, right? For some of you, I just heard you might all of a sudden be pregnant, right? Um, and then we have in the, uh, what we don't see position in the hidden position, the emperor, this is you taking your power back. For others of you, this is actually a person coming in, a new connection because we have the Empress and the Emperor here. So this could be you, male or female, doesn't matter, right? Swap the roles if you need to. This could be you. Um, and then we have, you know, this person coming in with the Emperor energy. For others of you, it is that you're just taking the power back in your life. You finally stepped into knowing your value and your worth, loving and nurturing yourself, um, being very successful here, being very abundant. And then, yeah, just really bossing it up and taking your power back here. This is also the Aries card. So some of you could have Aries in your chart or this could be somebody coming in. I didn't clarify that. I might. Um, but what we have for advice is the world card. So this is all about completions. So whatever this was that ended, whatever this, you know, transition, transformation, um, this, you know, possibly this tower moment, whatever this was, it is bringing things to completion. So for some of you, I'm hearing, yeah, you, you know, completed a karmic cycle, whatever that is, whether it was with a part partner could have been, you know, family related friendships could be money, health, whatever it is, this cycle has completed and the world is, I just heard at your fingertips. So this is, you finally get to rest. Look at him. Look at how he's just sitting there. You finally get to rest and enjoy, you know, um, the things that you've been working hard for. You're really taking some time out. I just heard, you know, some of you need to travel around the world. Some of you really need to, um, even reading about, you know, going to other places, right? Um, you know, sometimes novels and stuff take you, uh, in your imagination to other places just because I'm seeing, you know, the book that he's reading here, but this is completion, right? Um, things are coming full circle for you and it's about success as well, right? So this is saying also for you to broaden your horizons. I just heard when I clarified it, it is. <clears throat> Eight 
Ace of Wands. This is about your passion. This is about a new um, inspired idea. This is, you know, inspirations. This is a passionate new beginning, okay? Um, for some of you, it's actually traveling. Could be this passionate new beginning. For others of you, it is saying that you need to broaden your horizons when it comes to your passions, Okay, what, did it, what is it that you're passionate about? Is this about, you know, possibly traveling? Is this about maybe somebody that's across the world, right? Or across the ocean that you might be traveling to? This is also about travel, right? So that could be. Some of you could be completely um, leaving your life behind that you had. Um, you know, wherever you are, you put an end to things. You just packed up your stuff. You sold everything and, and you're moving forward right to somewhere that you you're not really sure exactly what it's going to look like it's very unknown to you this is a very unknown place okay um and with advice it's saying go for it right cycles are ending you know travel the world for some of you right this could be your passion okay um for others of you this passionate new beginning is going to lead to um balance fairness it could be in your money it could be health it could be any kind of resources this is also about gifts this is about giving and receiving right um so this is bringing things into balance in your life the wheel of fortune is here so this is a karma card this is good luck your luck is changing right so this is destiny and divine timing whatever this is if you look at this right if you're working on something, right, and that's your passion, right, you need to put in to get back and, you know, karma is coming in and this is also divine timing and destiny, right? So things are on, you know, the divine's timing, right? Um, a four of wands, whatever this is, it's going to bring you happiness. It's going to bring you stability, right? Um, use your intuition, Go within and really use your intuition, whatever this is, this, you know, the ending, the completion, the cycles, um, whatever this is, for some of you, it is you needing to look at possibly cycles, patterns, all right, and putting an end to those with the death card here, okay? But whatever these are, or whatever the situation is here, um, the universe is asking you to really, you know, pay attention to your intuition, go within. You have wisdom. For some of you, I also just heard, stay silent. Don't share yet. Don't share what this passionate new beginning is quite yet with people. Keep it close to your heart. Look at how she has that wrapped up, rolled up. Keep it close to you. Don't, don't share your ideas, your inspirations quite yet. Okay? But this is going to lead to victory. Again, another movement card, right? So many of you definitely could be moving somewhere else, but this is you really taking control of your life. And we see that here with the Emperor card. All right. And then we've got, um, and it was 13, 20 on the clock when I looked, we have nine of cups. This is you moving towards your wish fulfillment. So whatever this ending is, whatever this cycle completing is, whatever this maybe travel or going somewhere uh, else in the world, whatever this broadening your horizons, it might be you doing work, you know, that's global, right? Whatever this is, these, this passionate new beginning, right? That is also your destiny, I just heard, okay? Um use your intuition, but keep it close to you. This is going to bring you wish fulfillment. This is what you want. Okay. And then as the potential outcome, and I did forget to mention this at the beginning, but um, this is for if you have Capricorn and your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or north node, and it could be anywhere in your chart. And by the way, sorry that I'm in my pajamas again, but um, it was a, an off day today. So we're going with it. All right, um, Queen of Pentacles, what's most important is the reading, right? Queen of Pentacles, okay, is the potential outcome. How beautiful, Capricorn, this is your card. This is you finally enjoying the fruits of your labor, 
okay? After all of these changes, the transformation, the tower moment, right? You really transforming into your best self, I just heard. This is you loving yourself, knowing your value and your worth, taking authority back in your life, I just heard, okay? Being a leader, being a boss, whatever area this is, okay? Um, and then, yeah, things, you know, needing to look at things with, um, I just heard a higher, from a higher view. Okay. And also looking at closing out cycles, bringing things to completion. So for some of you actually could be like paperwork, things like that, that need to be kind of finalized and resolved, but this is going to bring you to stability and success. This is my hardworking single parent card. This is going to bring you to the place where you really um, are abundant and you finally can enjoy the fruits of your labor. But look at her. She's tired. You know, she's tired. And when I clarified it, why is she tired? Nine of Wands, Wounded Warrior. You have been through a lot, Capricorns and Capricorn. We know with Pluto in your chart since 2008, yeah, we're tired, <laughs> right? Nine of Wands, you're tired, okay? And why? Because of the Ten of Swords, lots of pain, lots of suffering. I just got chills when I said that. Some of you have really suffered. Some of you have really gone through some difficult things, but you persevered. You didn't give up, right? And you're still holding on to that one of wand. This wand of inspiration, this wand, this passionate new beginning, the thing that you are, you know, lights your fire. What lights your fire? Okay, nine of wands. This is, you know, you persevering and holding on to that one wand. Notice how the wand is much shorter and I believe that that's your wand of passion. That's what, what brought you through whatever this is. That is what helped you through dealing with all of those. Dealing with the Ten of Swords, the backstabbing, the pain, the grief, the sorrow, the hurt. This is very painful what you went through. But it led you to being the queen of pentacles. It led you to abundance and success. And guess what? Nine of pentacles clarifying, this is you being independent, successful. This is you being confident. This is, again, you enjoying the fruits of your labor. Finally, it's here. And this is the divine, and I'm getting chills all over all the tinglies as I'm saying this. This is the universe, God, the divine source, spirit, bringing in all and pouring all of these blessings into your life. You are finally being, I just heard, rewarded for everything that you've gone through. Okay? Everything that you've gone through. Bottom of the deck, Eight of Pentacles. You've been working hard, Capricorn. Not surprised. Many of you mastering your craft here, but you're definitely really working hard. And what I'm hearing is working hard... Um, to balance yourself, to balance the masculine and feminine within you, the light and dark within you, that's what you've really been working hard on. For others of you, yeah, you've been working hard uh, on this partnership, two of cups, relationship, whatever type of relationship that is, okay, it doesn't have to be romantic. For many of you, that's what you've been working hard on. And for others of you, I just heard you're working on working hard on the thing that you love the most, whatever that is. It doesn't have to be, you know, work or career. It's just something that you're working on, right? Whatever it is that you re really love and are passionate about, okay? And then we have temperance here. This is, again, balancing the light and darks. So, yeah, so for some of you, that is the work that you've been doing, right? Balancing the masculine and feminine, light and dark. For others of you, it's about bringing your life into balance between spirituality and between um, the physical world here with the temperance card. Um, and then we have two of pentacles. Yeah, many of you having to juggle things around, right? But this is also not going too far into the past and not going too far into the future or not going into the past at all and not going too far into the future, but staying in the present moment. Okay. Some of you are juggling so many things and you're missing the opportunity that's here for others of you. You're just, you know, kind of, um, 
bored, some of you are tired, right? And you're not seeing the opportunity that is coming in for you here because I'm hearing that many of you either need um, to learn from a spiritual teacher, right? Or um, to really kind of look at what your beliefs are and shift and change some of those beliefs. For others of you, I just see you're not seeing the opportunity that's coming in from spirit um, and needing to connect more to your spiritual self. Because if you don't, what happens is the nine of swords. You're really, you know, anxious, fearful, worrying, sleepless nights, right? You don't, whoa, you don't have a trust and faith. Some of you, I just heard, don't have trust and faith in the universe, you know, you're, you feel like you need to, um, juggle things constantly that you need to be the one to constantly be, be, um, trying to balance things out and you're really not seeing the opportunity from the divine. You're not seeing what the divine is trying to bring to you. You're not seeing the gift coming in, right? Needing to spend more time in your spirituality. I just heard for some of you, that means spending more time in meditation. Okay. Um, for others of you, I just heard you also need to work on, or you will be working on healing a connection that um, you had with the Two of Cups here, whatever type of connection that is, all right? But spirituality is the way out of this. Connecting to spirit, you know, getting really solid within yourself, knowing um you know, that, that the universe always has your back, right? So when you have that faith, when you learn about faith, okay, whatever that is to you, right? From source, from light, it gets you out of the nine of swords. All right. King of cups at the bottom. This is, yeah, being very emotionally stable. Um, and then... When I grabbed uh, the deck of cards, what stayed at the bottom was the lover's card. Okay, so yeah, some of you really needing to balance that within yourselves. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let me just clarify. Yeah. All right. So I just wanted to clarify the outcome. Wow. Guys, I just got goosebumps. You can't make this up. You saw me shuffle the cards. Okay, so what jumps out? To clarify, the Queen of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands, the Ten of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles, and that Ace of Cups, the Blessings coming in. Boy, oh boy. The Sun card, Ultimate Happiness, Bliss. This is the Ultimate Happiness card. This is Absolute Bliss, like what is coming in for you? You are going to be very happy. Judgment is here. And justice. So, for those of you that went through hell and back with this situation, person, place, whatever it is, or within yourself, right? Judgment is coming in. This is a rebirth. This is a renewing. This is an awakening. This is a wake-up call, okay? Um, that's going to bring you, for some of you, this happiness. For others of you dealing with the Nine of Wands, Ten of Swords situation, okay? This is going to be a judgment on this person, place, thing, situation, whatever it is, group of people, whatever. And karma is coming in. Justice is coming in to balance out the scales. If any of you are dealing with the justice system for whatever reason, okay, know that there is a judgment coming in that is going to bring you ultimate happiness. This is the happiest card in the deck. You are getting everything. Capricorn, I think this is my, might be what I call my reading. This is blessings upon, upon blessings. Blessings upon blessings. That's what's coming in for you. That's where you're headed. You are headed to the sun. For some of you, paradise. For some of you, actually, maybe going across the world. You might be taking a trip to a sunny destination. Or it could be, you know, moving across the world to, you know, a sunnier place. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, Capricorns, let's close this out with a couple of Oracle cards. Messages and guidance, please. Holy Spirit. What does Capricorn need to know 
This is in guidance, please. One sec, guys. All right, and messages and guidance. Okay, that feels good. All right, guys, let's see. Wow, many of you have really gone through it. Um, and, you know, whatever you've been through definitely affected your self-esteem and self-worth. But by seeing the death card there, that is also transformation, okay? You're moving towards something better and you're leaving the past, the negative behind, right? Um, the darkness, you're leaving that behind and you're going to the sun, which is light. Um, and the transformation, that for me also has a lot to do with, you know, the ego and transforming and leaving behind those negative beliefs, those old thought patterns, you know, those, those childhood programs from the past that no longer serve you, right? And your self-esteem, you know, was affected and you, that's what you're working really hard on as well. Um, and then to, you know, see the future, um, you know, the near future being the Empress card and then the outcome as the uh, Queen of Pentacles that tells me that you've really done the inner work to finally get to that place of truly loving yourself. If I kept going, I'm sure I would have pulled the uh, Queen of Cups because High Priestess was there as well. And the Queen of Cups talks speaks directly to the High Priestess, right? So the card that came out is you are worth it. You are worth it. You are going to be blessed for everything that you've been through. And because this is also my self-love card. This is you knowing your value and your worth, which is what I said about the Empress card there. Okay. Um, and we have show your support with Queen of Pentacles um, and the Empress. I'm seeing here that for some of you, it is, um, you know, just needing to reach out uh, to other people Maybe that, you know, those are very much um, nurturing cards, right? So for some of you, it actually could be um, you needing to support other people, show your support to other people. Um, I get the feeling that people really look up to you, Capricorn, okay? Um, and I'm seeing that, you know, when we feel good, we bless others, right? Smiling at somebody, um, you know, can, can completely change someone's day. Um, but this is also you needing support from other people that I'm hearing here as well. But with you are worth it and show your support. We have potential gateway on the bottom here staring at me. Potential gateway. This is also about just there's all your manifestations. It literally is like walking through a portal and all your manifestations, your, your, um, paradise is there your bliss your happily ever after the life of your dreams what it is that you want is just on the other side of that gateway okay it's not hard to get there um know that you are worth all of these blessings and this is the lotus flower being uh very prominent in this card this is saying you know that you've really gone through the darkness to you know evolve and transform all right, let's keep going. I have another card here. For some of you, I just see really like if you're working on relationships with the two of cups there, you know, really showing kind of your love and support, possibly giving flowers to somebody or, you know, um, like I said, that, that smile, just I'm seeing very, very simple, small gestures. Um... Because Capricorn, I see you guys starting to really feel good about yourselves here, okay? And uh, people look up to you and you have a very, I just heard, you have a very nurturing spirit. Very nurturing spirit. All right, messages and guidance. We got two fives here too. That's all about change. All right, let's see. Let's see, meditation, what I say, <laughs> meditation here, and then spirit, I also see healing underneath here, yes, 
Wow, guys, I can't make this up. What else is on the bottom here? Future. I'm going to take that. Okay, so meditation. Meditation will bring you clarity of mind and a sense of inner peace. That's what I said. <laughs> Spirit. Spirit is a flow of insight into the true self. I love the wording for that. That's what I was trying to say too. Confidence. Confidence is having the belief in yourself to keep going and the self-assurance to get you there. We've seen that in the, the cards, Capricorn. Definitely. Happiness is an overall state of complete being. When you are connected to source, you're plugged in. And that is what brings us the true happiness, not the things happening outside of us. Karma. Karma is a universal teacher sending forth lessons from past and present. Karma is here, right? We did see justice. That is the karma card. So whatever karma is coming in is going to make you very happy. Confidence. This is Empress energy, right? And also the Queen of Pentacles. That's you. But definitely you are needing to meditate to connect to spirit here. And then we have future. Direct your intentions and actions wisely and your future will be fed with fulfillment. That was the world card. That is saying for you to have that higher perspective. That is for, for you to know that there, I just heard, there is a world of possibilities for you. Okay? Direct your intentions, right? With the Ace of Wands clarifying the world card. Direct your intentions on what it is that you want to create. And your future will be fed, fed with fulfillment. Right? The outcome clarified by the sun card. That is fulfillment, you know, and success. All right, my loves. That's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for um, being here with me. I appreciate all of you. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you here. And for those of you who are subscribed, thank you so much. I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, don't forget to hit the bell icon button so you get notified when I upload new videos. And also, if you can hit that like button, the thumbs up, I would truly appreciate it because that is the only way that people see my videos, um, as well as share this with anybody you think uh, could find it useful. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, comment down below. I would love to hear from you. I reply to everybody's comments. Um, I read them all. And yeah, thanks so much for being here. And I wish you all peace, love, and light. Until next time, bye-bye.